Hello once again, welcome back to episode 9, the weeks are fairly flying by. Um, so let's start with the jam, hope you've got your drum ready, will you go back to our fango rhythms today? Today we're going to, to wrap up our journey um, with these rhythms and this song. So without further ado, we'll put the music on. This week I might jump from rhythm to rhythm. Um, without using the words this time. So if you want to, jump with me. Just try and play each different one at a time or you're also welcome to stick to your favourite one or just enjoy keeping the pulse to it. Are you ready? Off we go.
So as I said, this week we'll wrap up our journey with the Fanga song and rhythms and next week we'll move on to looking at not just drums but maybe percussion and some of these different sounds that we can use as well as taking that step into creating our own rhythms together. But it's great to start with something that has cultural relevance to the kind of drums that lots of us might end up playing, which is this djembe drum. Um, so I've prepared for you a special handout which will come out with this. It'll either be in the comments below or available through the Recovery College. Um, I've put together some video resources and some links to different websites, both about the history of the drum and about how to take that forwards and learn it somewhere else. Um, so let's talk you through that. So this is what you'll find on the handout. Um, the first category, we've got a couple of videos about the Fanga song and rhythms, including the guy that taught my teacher, Arthur Hull. The guy that taught him was Babatunde Olatunji. And this is a version of him doing Fanga. It's quite an old video, but I hope you'll enjoy seeing the dance that goes with it and recognising some of those rhythms. And I've also included a more recent version below that. And then we've got three more about the cultural background of the djembe. There's a very short introduction, which includes some interesting things about history, and then a gorgeous video about broader Malinke culture, including how a djembe is made and the just how rhythm is everywhere to be found. Um, and if this is something you really are interested in the traditional background too, I've included a link to Mamadi Keita, who's got a very, very systematic approach to teaching traditional djembe, so you've got plenty to be getting on with. Anyway, for now, are you ready to go back to the song? Banga alafia, ashe ashe ya. Banga alafia, ashe ashe. That was the first half, and the second half is ashe ashe, ashe ashe. Ashe, 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 ashe. We do both of those halves twice, except we're going to bring one more level of difficulty to it this week, um, or enjoyment to it this week. Um, we're going to do it as a round. So if you've ever sung something like Frere Jaca, Frere Jaca, when everybody comes in at different times, this is the same kind of thing. If we were doing it with a group, we'd have half and half singing a different side. This time we've got the trusty loop machine, um, which I've recorded one of the vocal parts into. Um, so what we'll do is we'll start the track. Maybe this time, if you want to, while you're learning this, don't worry about the drumming, just focus on the singing. Sometimes for me, it's like, there's not quite enough processing power to do both at the same time. So I'm going to take my own advice and just focus on the singing. So we'll start the track, we'll start the singing, and then join in with me at a different time to the track and just see what that sounds like, um, just for our final jam together. Ready? A one, two, three, four. Here comes the song.
done. Well done for giving that a go. We'll be back next week with some more drumming for well-being. <laughs>